getting a six pack. And you wanna know what? It's not crunches, it's not planks, it's not fancy twisting moves. You wanna know what it is? It's my ab pin 3000. Watch this. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, it's not foolproof. There you go. You could Look use, at these. You could use some li like outlining oh. a little bit. You could do oh. a little bit better. Oh. There we go. <laughs> read it and weep. <laughs> oh, I think I'd like an eight pack. Yeah. Make it a 12 while you're at it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have struggled with belly fat my entire life. I spent every single day of my teenage years trying to find some magic pill or some fancy ab machine or something or something like this that would get me a six pack. Well, I didn't find a magic pill, but throughout my weight loss journey, I've lost 130 pounds. I found something way easier that helps me stay pretty lean and it's way more effective. It's super easy, way easier than I ever thought. I do these four simple things every single day and it helps me stay lean, pretty flat stomach. I don't have to put myself through like, ooh, pain with like cardio, like torturous like cardio running on the treadmill or anything like that. So the first thing that I do, drink water. I drink a jug like this every single day. I got this jug at Walmart for $4. I drink this every single day. What happens is when you're not hydrated, if you don't drink enough water, your body sends you signals that you're hungry. So I was getting like hunger pains all the time and I thought I needed food and in reality, I just needed to drink more water. And also, water helps with digestion, which helps keep you regular, which helps with bloating. If you drink water with food when you're eating at every meal, it also helps keep you full. So you're reaching for snacks and food less and less if you're someone who reaches for food a lot out of stress or things like that like I used to. Anyone that I know or have ever met or heard about Struggles with belly fat. No one wants belly. No one wants this. <laughs> I hear people that are smaller, people that are bigger, people that are even, that are fit. I hear them all complain about belly fat. Everybody wants abs. I'm in no delusion that I'm gonna get a six pack with my body type. Everyone thinks that you can just do ab exercises and you'll get this beautiful six pack. In reality, how abs are made is through diet. You have to eat clean and you have to eat in a calorie deficit. You have to be very lean. You have to have very little body fat for your abs to show through. For myself, for my body type, I naturally carry fat in my belly area. So I know that no matter how lean I am, I'm probably not gonna have a six pack. But what I can do is the things that I'm gonna show you that and the water that I've already talked about that will help me and do help me. So I'm gonna show you guys the things that actually help me get as flat of a stomach as I possibly can to where I now feel confident wearing a sports bra or a bikini in public because I can keep myself fairly lean for my body type and my genetics. So the friends, I went from 275 pounds with a massive stomach to the weight I'm at now is about 150 pounds, give or take, and a fairly flat stomach with a pink six pack. <laughs> <laughs> and how I got this flat stomach is through the things that I'm about to talk about and show you. I drink apple cider vinegar every single day. This is the raw apple cider vinegar with the mother. Is it going to magically disappear your belly and get you a six pack? No. Is it a fat burner? No. However, it does help lower your resting blood sugar levels, which if you're insulin resistant like I am, having less insulin resistance means a flatter stomach. It also helps with digestion 
and like the water helps keep you regular which keeps the bloating down and allows your stomach to be as flat as it possibly can so every day I drink a tablespoon of this diluted with four ounces of water and I drink it like a thrill a straw because this apple cider vinegar can be very tough on the enamel on your teeth so diluting it with water and drinking it through this <laughs> helps protect your teeth <laughs> You found, you found that much more amusing than I did. I bet you the friends are belly laughing. <laughs> okay, the next one. I do this naturally is move your body. I move my body in a way that I love every single day. I'm consistent and I do what I like to move my body and I do it as much as I can. You don't have to be in pain like on the treadmill running you don't have to go outside in the heat or hurting your neck and back with stupid ab moves yeah you don't have to hurt your body with all these weird moves just move your body in a way you like you don't if you don't like hit training don't do it you don't like the treadmill you don't have to do it i love walking and i i like um <sighs> that so i do i move my body every single day how i like and i stay consistent and since I've been moving my body every single day through cardio, my stomach is really lean. And I really do think a lot of it has to do with moving my body regularly every single day. And that's one of the biggest misconceptions that we get. We hear a lot of times from you guys is that you can spot train. Yeah. Like Nicole said, moving your body more, you'll be burning more calories, which actually will burn fat all over your body and you'll have a flatter stomach. A lot of people think that they have to do all of this intense cardio. I just walk at a normal pace every single day. And cardio can be anything. It can be cleaning your house. It can be dancing to your favorite music, walking your dog. Kyle and I sometimes, when the malls were open here, we would go to the mall and just do laps around the mall. You can go to an outdoor outlet mall and, and walk around. It doesn't have to be exercise. It can be something you enjoy. If it's something you enjoy, you'll do it more, which means you'll be more consistent and your belly will be flatter because of it. <laughs> okay, and the last thing that I do, I eat what I call my fat burning foods. I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. The reason why I eat them is because they are, they contain more fiber, which allows you to feel full longer because it's slower digesting. A lot of them are lower calories, so you can eat more of them and eat a ton of volume and feel like you're full. And that is why I call them my fat burning foods because eating those consistently every single day, it helps my body with digestion. It helps me stay full and satisfied. And that combined with all the other things helps my stomach stay pretty flat and lean. Some of my favorite things, whole grains. I know a lot of people tend to be kind of scared about eating carbs, but Especially I, bread. Especially bread. But I wanna tell you, I eat bread every single day. It's just that I choose the right bread that helps my body, my stomach, not be bloated. Whole grain bread really helps me. It helps me feel full and satisfied, and it helps me be regular and with digestion. And when I eat whole grains like this kind of bread, I feel pretty lean every day. Now, a lot of people don't like the whole wheat or whole grain. Well, a better option, then they'll switch to those so-called diet breads, which have a lot of fat, a lot of them, and nuts and seeds and all this weird stuff in them mm -hmm. that have way more calories. And if you just got plain white bread or plain brown bread or stuff like Nicole gets. I choose the whole wheat specifically because I feel fuller and flatter in my stomach when I eat the whole wheat. And we have eat, we do eat some forms of white carbs, yeah. but like Nicole said, they go through you much faster. So plan it out. You know, if you're going to be very hungry, then I would eat the whole wheat. Yeah. And this is the Dempster's whole wheat sandwich thin bread. So it's it's lower in carbs, but it also is the size of a normal slice. So you feel like you're getting a good amount of bread. And, and how I, many calories in that? There are, for two slices, 140 calories 
and 24 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber, and six grams of protein. For two slices? For two slices. That's good. I eat two slices every single day, and I look forward to it. And let me tell you guys, if you guys watch our full day of eating or meal preps or whatever, make Nicole's French toast with these, because even though they're thin, they soak up a ton of the egg mixture. I even sometimes get whole wheat English muffins and make like a knockoff McDonald's egg muffin, so whole grains, they're versatile and they keep you satisfied. Also, rice cakes are whole grain as well. And they come in so many flavors. When we watch movies, when we were losing weight during our weight loss journey, we ate the popcorn flavored ones because they really taste like movie theater popcorn. Right now, the white cheddar is my favorite. And there's only eight grams of carbs and one gram of fat in one of these and 45 calories. I eat two of these every day. Leafy greens. Leafy greens are so good because you can eat a lot of them, um, a big volume amount. It makes you feel like you're eating a lot. It makes you feel full. And also spinach has a lot of fiber in it, which again is gonna be slower digesting and it's gonna make you feel satisfied and you're gonna be reaching for snacks and things less because you'll feel nice and full. Berries do the same thing as spinach. They're also really versatile. You can get them fresh, you can get them frozen. They're lower in sugar than most fruit and they're lower in carbs than most fruit and a ton of fiber and a ton of nutrients. Just make sure you guys pick the right berries, meaning blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries. Strawberries, those are the best berries to eat. I make so many different things, like I put them in my frozen yogurt, I thaw them out and put them on my French toast. Like you can do so many things with berries. And because of the fiber, again, helps with digestion, helps with keeping you regular. All of that, and helps keep you full. All of that helps keep your belly flatter. I know these guys get kind of a bad rap too, like carbs, eggs, whole eggs. I eat egg whites every day, yes, but I also eat a whole egg every day. Why? Because it is a complete food. It has the healthy fat in the egg yolk and it has the egg white in it, which is full of protein. It's a great source of protein. It's super versatile. I make pancakes out of it. I make egg sandwiches out of it. We use egg whites and shakes and things like that. Eggs are so good for you and they contain good fats in them, plus they have a ton of vitamins. Having a whole egg with the yolk makes you feel satisfied and full. So those are my fat burning foods. Like I said, I know the only six pack I'm gonna get is with lipstick, what do you call this? <laughs> Lip liner, lipstick liner. It's the uh, Ab Pen <laughs> 3000. So the Ab Pen 3000 is the only where I will ever get abs, however, Doing the things that I just shared with you has helped me. I have lost 130 pounds, I've kept it off, and I am in the best shape of my life. This is the leanest that I have ever been. Oh, I'll just take this moment. This is the leanest I've ever been. I feel comfortable wearing tight fitted clothes. I feel comfortable wearing sports bras when I work out in public and bikinis. I never would have done that before. So friends, in order to get a six pack, it depends on your body type, how lean you are, what you eat. However, you can get a flat stomach just like me, even if you don't have the greatest genetics, by doing the things I showed you. And just eat consistently, eat fat burning foods, whatever fat burning foods work for you, drink your water, have the apple cider vinegar, move your body how you like, love your life guys and then you can wear cute tiger clothes like this Roar. so do the stuff the bills and get on instagram out to collect and don't forget to check out our two complete way less guys down below <sighs> <laughs> that's a workout in itself this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching you know what time it is it's time to do that frog. I thought it was gonna be tiger time. Oh, tiger time is this. 
You know what I did when I was when Kyle and I were first dating? I was I was a mama tiger, a daddy tiger, and a baby tiger. And I'm <laughs> still with you. <laughs> the daddy tiger was like this. Roar! And the mom was like this. Roar! And the baby was like this. Roar! <laughs> Okay, and now we do the frog. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Is that a grown up frog or baby frog? It's a bunch of frogs. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Love ya. Colette's out. Peace, dude. Peace out. Yeah, I found my straw. Five second rule. <laughs> See you Bye, guys. guys. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.